Freedom! Today I wanted to talk to you about something that's kind of affected me a little bit lately. Now I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these The Anthony Show things, and I apologize, I will be back. There has been some issues and things, but I wanted to come to you today to talk about uh, numbers. Now, before you click off the video, before you leave, I want you to know that these numbers affect you. Affect. Effect. Affect. I'm not sure which one that is, because English is hard. Specifically, the numbers I want to talk to you about are the numbers in your analytics. Analytics is a great tool to learn more about your audience, their behaviors, missed opportunities, and things like that. And it's something that I don't really see a lot of YouTubers talking about, which is horrible, because analytics is the most powerful tool that you can use as a YouTuber to tube your use. So, like I said before, this kind of deals with me as I've hit a little bit of success on my vlogging channel recently. It all started when I uploaded a video about shopping in the Philippines, and that video blew up, like in a huge way. So, this video I made, nothing super special about it, but due to some other circumstances, it just blew up. Which means that the rest of my videos also for a short time blew up because I had constant traffic on one video. Now that is awesome and I'm very grateful for that traffic because it took a channel that, to put this, I hate to put things in dollars and cents, but it's kind of makes sense in this context, from a channel that made like $5 a month to in the last 28, 30 days or so, I've made $200 on that channel. Now I can give you other numbers, but that, I mean, that's kind of the huge shift that we've seen in that channel. And so I, I saw this and at first it was, it was like, I was elated. I was happy. I was super happy that the channel was doing so well. And in the back of my mind, I always knew that that was going to be a short little hump and it would stop at some point. However, my, my emotional brain, kind of forgot that. And when it started to, when that hump started to end, I got kind of sad. I got kind of depressed. I'm like, no, everything I built is going away. But, but just because the channel is sort of starting to revert back to its previous level of meh, it's, it's, it's not. So during that month, during the success of that video and the subsequent videos, I gained 2,000 subscribers. I went from about 1,000 subscribers to 3,000 subscribers in like a month. That's huge. I am like, real talk, that was awesome. It was amazing, I'm glad it happened. And really, it's a success no matter what. Previously on that channel, uh, because it wasn't something I was super focusing on, it was just kind of a side project where I just put stuff up for family and to kind of uh, like keep up with like, so I could look back in 10 years and go, wow, that was fun. In case I ever go back home to the States or whatever. So when this happened and it went kaboom, I started looking way too much into the live or real analytics, like the real time analytics. And I stopped looking so much at the bigger picture, at least in, on the emotional side, on, on the sort of analytical side. I always, I knew that it was going to stop. I knew that things were going to sort of slow down after that video popped. But anyway, I wanted to come to you today to say analytics use it. It's a wonderful, huge tool that you can use to your advantage. Um, and it may take you three, six, 12 months to kind of figure out how to get good data from your analytics, but it's so worth it. Because of this huge traffic spike, I've been able to get a lot more information about what I should do in the future with my channel and the audiences that certain videos attract, and uh, also watch time, how to, you know, what tricks in editing I can use to increase that, all kinds of stuff, all because I was looking at the numbers. Anyways, um, so yes, analytics, use it, learn it, it's a huge tool, but also don't get emotionally attached when you do have a success, because here on YouTube, you will see, you know, things will go up, 
down a little bit, up, down a little bit. So capitalize on those ups by learning, by also releasing uh, similar content when you've got one piece of content doing well, and so on. I don't want to drag on too long because we're here at about, I don't know, five minutes or so. So we're going to move this along and say, please, for the sake of you and your channel, make sure that you are properly using this tool. Also, um, make sure that you don't fall into little bits of like depression or, you know, kind of where you yourself, you're like, meh. I'm not doing as well as I was a week ago, even though that's five times better than I was doing a month ago. Don't fall for that. Just take your ups and downs, learn from it, and over time, you'll do really well. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. I am on my way to VidCon 2017. Uh, I am in a hotel here in Japan, um, which is kind of cool. I, I, I like this hotel, it's really cool. It's the Hilton in uh, like Nario, uh, Tokyo Narita area, anyway. I will see you here soon from VidCon. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye. Thank you for watching another Freedom video. If you'd like to watch another, click over there. If you'd like to, I don't know, maybe subscribe. Maybe you'll want to stick around for a little while. There's probably some buttons over there that'll help you out with that. And... If you'd like to see more of my face, go ahead and click it. I dare you. I dare you.